We gotta hurry up. I've got like three hours. So I went out thrifting yesterday and I found this great dress and I wanna wear it out tonight for Valentine's Day. I'm really hoping it fits. I don't know though. Okay, this fits way worse than I thought it was going to. I don't know, I don't have time to shop for another one. Ugh. I know this has happened to you before or it's probably happening to you right now and that's why you're here. You're at the thrift store, you find a dress, you're like, it's perfect for my event. You get it home, you try it on and well, this is what we got. We kind of feel like we're wearing a potato sack and it is not giving us a good vibe. We are not feeling good in this. But you're in luck because today I'm gonna to show you how to make a dress that's too big fit you. But this isn't gonna be crazy hard. This is going to be easy to do. What we need to do is hem it a little, take in these princess lines and we need to take in the armhole and the sleeve a bit and then just wait and see. So let's get started. I only have three hours before I have to leave and we need to professionally tailor this. I put the dress on the dress form, which is roughly my size. So I'll be tailoring it to the dress form today. If you don't have a dress form, put it on yourself, do this on yourself, grab a friend to help maybe as well. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is figure out where I want to hem it. So I'm gonna be hemming it to the bottom of the dress form right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, feel the dress form and put some chalk marks here. You can also fold it up and put some pins in it so you know exactly where you want the new hem to be. So there's a few different ways you can mark your hem. I'm going to be following the bottom of the dress form for this. And you can really see how much extra is in this dress. Okay, so now I know how short I would like to have my dress. So to save some time, I am going to chop this hem off while it's on the dress form. And I'm gonna do that a half inch below the chalk line. Now I'm done chopping it off. Scary, I know. Now I'm gonna turn it inside out, put it back on the dress form so that way we can tailor it up and make it fit like a glove. How funny is that looking? Oh my God, look at these shoulder pads and the sleeve structure, amazing. I am leaving this in this dress. I normally take it out, but we're leaving it. This dress is giving me very vintage Jean-Paul Gaultier vibes. What does this dress remind you of? Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know. Okay, we gotta keep moving if we wanna finish this dress in time. Now it's time to take in the side seams. Remember how boxy it was on me? And we wanna make it foxy, not boxy. To make this simple, we're going to be following the same seam line that's here on the dress from the underarm all the way down down to the hem. So we are going to grab it and take it in as much as you want and then stick a pin front to back. And what we're going to do is create a new sewing line with the pins. This way we have somewhere to chalk and if we want to try it on before we sew it up, we totally can. So I'm pulling the fabric out and making it a nice smooth line right against the body of the dress form. You don't want to pull this so tight that you're seeing pull lines and you don't want to leave it so loose that it doesn't look like you tailored it. So just work your way down your body, around your curves, so that way you're comfortable in the dress. If you're comfortable with it pinned up, then you're gonna be comfortable with it sewed up. Sewing hack! So because we still have all of this extra fabric here and the way this dress was designed, we can actually take in the armhole and the sleeve in the same seam. So we are just gonna hold this out, work our way down the sleeve. And if you have a long sleeve, just keep on going. We have a shorter sleeve on this one, so we're just gonna pin to the bottom. And if you need to ever, you know, undo a pin, resituate it, lay everything nice and flat, make sure everything looks nice and smooth. So when we end up sewing, we're literally gonna go from the sleeve all the way down the side. And that's gonna take in the dress, the armhole, and the sleeve. That's right, it's a three in one alteration. See, this isn't that hard. That's what she said. <laughs> if you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. These videos are for you. We're moving on. We got one more part to take in. 
So I've pinned down center back for using a dress form. You can do this. If you're doing this on yourself, you can always wear a bodysuit underneath and pin into the bodysuit. So I pinned down center back so that way I don't pull the dress off balance when I'm tailoring it. I didn't show you, but I also pinned down center front as well. And if you're not using a dress form, you can't pin into yourself, obviously, but you can wear a tight leotard under your outfit that you're tailoring and you can pin to that. So the last thing I'm going to take in is the princess line that's here. This line runs vertically through the garment. If you don't have princess lines, no worries. All you need to do is take in the extra fabric where you have seen that on the existing garment. So you're gonna do this the same way you did the side seam. You wanna pin it so it's fitted how you want it, but not too tight and not too loose. Otherwise you're gonna have to redo it later. So just keep pinning down the seam as if this was your sewing line. Now you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side and then try it on and make sure it fits. So I've only got like an hour and a half left and I'm in a rush, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Voila, it is all pinned up and it is looking so much better than before. Now what are we gonna do? You're gonna grab your chalk and we are gonna chalk up where all the pins are because those are our sewing lines. We've only got an hour left to finish this and make it happen. So I better be real quick at chalking these up. There we go, we are all chalked up. Hold up for a minute here. I forgot to tell you that what you need to do is measure your new chalk line to the distance of the outside of the edge of the fabric here. You wanna make sure that they're the same on both sides for both seams. And if they're not, you wanna adjust it. Because if you don't, you might end up lopsided. And well, you know, that's not a good look. Now that we've done that, we are ready to sew. So let's go over how we're going to sew these lines up. It's actually really, really easy. Oh, and don't forget to remove your pins before you start sewing. So we are going to sew up right where the chalk lines are, but make sure you've got your seam folded so that way you're going through the front and the back here. So right sides together at the seam and just sew up. You can also take a ruler and smooth these lines out a little if yours are a little wobbly. I'm just gonna blend it as I sew. I'm going to be using a straight stitch on the seam and then any of the extra I'm going to cut off, leaving a half inch seam allowance. First, I'm gonna sew up the side seams coming all the way through the armpit and down the sleeve. The side seams turned out great. After I do that, I'm going to sew up the princess lines on the back. You wanna make sure when you're blending off at the tip of the princess line towards the shoulder blades that the seam is running right back into the existing stitch. Otherwise, you're gonna get a bubble. and Nobody wants that. Okay, now we're getting to the tip of the princess line. So what we wanna do is make sure we're in that existing stitching line before we back stitch and cut. And that's looking great and smooth. All our seams are sewn up. Now we need to cut off the excess and finish those edges. And by that, I mean we are going to measure over a half inch from our stitching line and cut off the extra. And then I'm gonna go ahead and serge up the seams so that way they're nice and clean. And if you don't have a serger, you can zigzag or overcast. I just have 20 minutes left and all I need to do is the hem. So I think this is gonna work out, unless I made it too small. For the hem, you wanna clean up your edge, so serge it, overcast it, zigzag, whatever you prefer, and then we're gonna turn it up. So I'm gonna do a single folded hem, you could do a rolled hem, you could do a blind hem, you can do any type of hem you'd like. And then after that hem, we are done. Goodbye, Boxy. We are now Boxy. And I made my time under three hours, so I am ready for Valentine's Day date night now. So remember what that dress used to look like, and now you see what it looks like now. So we took in the underarm and the side seam on this to give it a nice fit here. And I just love that three in one, right? Sleeve, armhole, and side seam. Ah, oh, that is a game changer for altering clothes. And then on the back, we took in the back princess lines back here. So we took these in and gave us a nice fit in the back. And we can't forget, we hemmed it because it was way too long on me, because I'm a shorty. So I like everything a little shorter for me. So I hemmed it up and we've got a whole new dress that I feel confident and powerful in. I was really excited to make this video for you today because I know so many of you have clothes in your wardrobe, specifically dresses that you go and you put them on and you just don't feel good in them. 
Then you put it back in your closet and it's hanging there forever and you always wanna wear it because you love the fabric or you love a detail on it like these shoulders. But you put it on, you just don't feel good in it. So now, hopefully you have the confidence to take in your dress and tailor it up so that way when you choose it from the closet and you put it on, you are like, yes, I do wanna wear that today. It fits great. Thanks so much for watching So Anastasia today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you thought about tailoring a dress. And I would love to know what other videos you'd like to see. So leave those down below so that way I can add them to my video list. And if you're not already a subscriber to So Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out every single week. I also teach sewing classes in my design studio here in Chicago, Illinois. You can check those out at sewingastasia.com and check out my virtual lessons as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so that way you can check out the daily sewing action in the design studio. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.